a campaigner who was part of a group of hospital staff who lost a legal fight against parking fines says the decision is devastating sue pryor campaigned alongside nearly eighty doctors and nurses from the university hospital of wales who were hit by hundreds of parking fines totaling tens of thousands of pounds but a judge ruled that indigo who operates parking at the hospital could collect the fines from the workers after losing their court battle last friday doctors and nurses from the university hospital of wales are being crippled with costs after a long dispute over parking fines 78 members of staff are being ordered to pay 68,000 pounds leaving many nurses on the brink of bankruptcy and in hefty debt with some wanting to leave the nhs entirely i feel devastated because we really thought we had a fantastic chance, you know? It's, it's not looking at it and, and thinking, oh, you know, this is somebody who's, you know, two wheels half, halfway out the bay or, you know, the, the system is set up to fail. You've got all these parking areas and a nurse will have a permit and it could list 10 different parking areas. So they go to work and they traverse all those parking areas allocated to them and they'd all be full. So they park in one that is not noted on their permit. They pay their one pound and five because this is not contrary to all the popular press, the mainstream media saying this is about free parking. It's not about free parking. The staff don't care about free parking. They want to pay for their parking and be allowed to park. And the court ruling left some serious questions to be answered in the Senate by the First Minister. The reason why enforcement was put in place because there had been a death uh, on the site, uh, partially due to illegal parking, partially due to the, the traffic flow uh, going through the site. Some 16,000 uh, traffic moves go through UHW at the moment. And it is right that there's proper enforcement of illegal and unsafe parking. Uh, so that has to happen on a site that is uh, this uh, busy. Why these individuals went to court and what advice they received it, it is it's difficult to uh, to know. I, I do know that, that uh, one of them in particular had 59 uh, parking tickets, which again, uh, no explanation is given as to why that is. It's unfortunate for all those individuals, I, I, I understand that. But it is hugely important that there's proper enforcement on the UHW site in terms of safety and to stop people parking all day. But Sue doesn't accept the First Minister's comments as to why these doctors and nurses are still being ordered to pay thousands in fines. They would never block a path for an ambulance. You know, these people, they're highly intelligent people in the medic world. You know, they haven't got a clue with defending car parking and all this sort of thing, which is why we've come in to help, you know, because I've had um, benefit from the NHS locally. My children have had, and I think most of us in Wales have had benefit from our local NHS. And it's time for us to stand up and say, stop, no more. Do you know, you've bullied these people to the edge, no more. And Sue has started a crowdfunding page to raise money for an appeal of the court's decision so that these doctors and nurses can afford the fight that's on their hands.